playing Niche, a genetic survival game. Now, I know that, well, for one thing, on DeviantArt, I have specified, or I have mentioned on one of my pictures that I drew for Niche, is that I've been wanting to play or not play, record this for a while now. I've been playing it for a while. But I've never been able to because my other computer would crash whenever I tried. Whenever I played for long periods of time. So, yeah. <laughs> but it's great. It's a fun game. But I still have no idea how to survive more than 100 days. So I guess this series will be until my species dies, and then I'll start another, and then another. Not really, just a season. Let's just call this season one. Or species one. I have no idea what to call the species, but let me just uh, bash my forehead against the keyboard until I get something. I think that's good enough. Sounds slow bashing, but that's fine. Tiny green, why not? I do not want to go here. This is a hard island. Peaceful meadow, why not? Or grass adventure? Peaceful meadow. Final answer. Yay! Loading screens are always fun! I love loading screens. Oh, it's green. I will eat your thumb. Sorry. Sorry about that, guys. Oh my god, what in the world? What in the world did I spawn? <sighs> Let me check your genetics real quick, Remy. Remy, small, medium ears, not small ears. Medium ears. Oh, you got short-sighted eyes. That is not good. That is not good for your health, lady. <laughs> oh, she has the potential to pass on ram ears. That is, or not ram ears, ram horns. That is, that is very interesting. She has the cracker job, but she has the potential to. Pass on gills. She also has the water body. And she has the ability to pass on heat body. Velvet paw and nimble fingers. Webbed hind legs. Great for the water. And a fishing tail. But she has a swimming tail. That is great. No albinism, but the more I inbreed my creatures. I have noticed that the more you inbreed your creatures, no matter if all of them had... No melanism or albinism until a certain point where it actually uh, adds that in. I got an entire species full of melanism because of it. Just not fur and red brown fur. I actually love that uh, combination. That is quite beautiful. Green eyes. I haven't had green eyed creatures in a long time. That explains the spots. Black fur, black and brown pattern, dots. Oh, she has the ability to pass on the mask. And the ability to pass on pattern shape A. That is cool. Tiny pattern. But she also has the ability to pass on medium, tiny density, and density thin. Or thin and very thin. That's some good blood clotting. High fertility, because that's always what you start off with. And then A and B. C and D. I've noticed that no matter what creatures you spawn with, it's always going to be A, B, C, D. For the immunities. Oh, it's going to be very rare for these creatures to even have a horned child. To have ram ears in a child. Platypus beak! 
Sorry. Sorry. There's also spiky body, toxic body. Yeah, the toxic body. It's a little flat on the top, but that's fine. Toxic, toxic bodies are not friendly. Webbed hind legs, medium tail. As you can tell, he has a medium tail. And a digging claw? Males can't pass on. Males can't pass on bad blood clotting. Or a secondary blood clot. They just can't. Females can, however. So these guys are sick. There's also blue eyes. Oh, because of the toxic body. This guy can't have these mass brown fur. And white fur. That would have been a nice color if he wasn't a toxic body. But he also has green eyes. That is beautiful. Thinking paw, velvet paw. Think of two velvet paw children. If uh, they actually can. Platypus beak, sh short snout, short snout. Ah, oh, whatever. Here we go. Little baby! Meow! Oh, you're. Oh my goodness! First gen in, and I already have the water body. And I already have the water body in the first generation. That is awesome! It's a nimble fingers and velvet paw. Seems like you took a lot after your mom. Except for the fact that you're a little bit lighter because of the white fur instead of the brown. But hey, at least you got that fur. That's some nice fur you got there. You look nice. You know, you look a bit bold. You have no... You have the medium tail. That is not going to be the best. But you do have the ability to pass on the fishing tail. Interesting. Also, no patterns. But you do have the ability to pass on the mask. That's useless. You don't have the ability to pass on horns. I ran the horns, but that's fine. You don't have the cracker job, but you have the ability to pass it down. And you didn't get the nearsighted. In either of your slots, which means if you have a mate that has the nearsighted slot in her recessive and good eyesight in her primary, that means you two would have a great chance of passing on the good eyesight, no matter recessive or not. You have the web toes. You have the web hind legs. Oh my god, you're almost guaranteed to pass that on. That's great for swimming. You're great for the water. You're a spiky body. You're not great for the water. And you're also not great for the winter either. That is not good. But you also you do have a cracker jaw though. I could send you over there.
Salar right there is a great swimmer. For this one is great for the for defense, I guess. I have noticed that in my time playing, those with the spiky body are great for defense because predators just run away from them. So if you surround your camp with these spiky bodies, sure, it takes a lot of food, but you're protected because no predators would ever get near your creatures. Ever. Which is awesome. A short-sighted eyes, though. It's an recessive. I know it's creepy, but those two can be mates if I wanted them to. You're great for the land. Or you're great for the water. Very interesting. Twins! Not identical, obviously. There's one with a platypus. One of them has a platypus beak. That is hilarious. They both have the water body. They both have the water body. So they can both go underwater. If I wanted them to. One of them has the web hind legs and the other one doesn't. It's sad. I'm getting a lot of web toes. I've noticed. But... Hmm. They're definitely not identical. Not even close. Look at that. One of them definitely has their mom's coat. I've noticed that all these children don't have patterns. All of them. All of them don't have patterns. this tiny island and they're safe they're safe from this huge island that's probably full of creatures that they don't want so yeah Game food, one way or another. There we go. That's fine. That's mighty fine. Both have the same fur color. Like, exactly the same. There's a good chance that they'll have spiky bodied children. But, they also both have a good chance of having fishing tail children. So I'm gonna risk it. Even though, it's not much of a risk because they have two completely different immunities.
I do know that in deeper waters there are there is such thing as a kelp. Which you can use for a Oh hello. You're new. You're very new. A H B D. These two are compatible. Interesting. How about you come over here? Oh, you're under the water. You go any deeper, you're gonna drown, sir. Also, you're pretty old. It is very sad. Hmm. You do they have both of them have the ability to produce children with the water body. I'm not gonna risk it. You know, land before you even start drowning. Like neither of their parents, but one of their parents has a green eyes and a recessive, which is how she probably got her green eyes. No fishing tail, though. That is quite sad. I would like to go fishing one of these days. I guess if this child right here happens to have a claw, they could start fishing. Even though this family is pretty much evolving, or this bloodline is evolving to be set up for the water, as you can see through the... Yeah. I just hope that nothing bad happens. Wait a minute, your father! Won't drown. They're all fine. Whoa. They're a beautiful one. Water body! Double water body! Wow! Well, that's a good one. Platypus, recessive platypus beak. Speaking of platypus beak, I know that you're not entirely fit for the water, but here. Make yourself useful. Especially since your family is starting to starve up on the surface. Well, not exactly, but you know what I mean. Of the family under the water, where the other is, well, on land. That's a great way to separate 
how the family evolves. Okay, B, H, A, C. These are compatible. Surprisingly. Another toxic baby, or not another toxic baby, uh, the first toxic baby. That is interesting. Hello, mine. You're all grown up now. Your daddy's still under the ocean, though. With your uncle. Interesting. I want to say that the ones that can't breathe underwater are going to go over here to this tree because there they could be useful for land, for gathering food on land. And where the other side is going to be compatible for the ocean. Because for one, they can breathe underwater, so they don't really have to worry about oxygen. And two, safety in numbers when it comes to the ocean. You'll never know when the time comes. Now, wait. Now, you're this one. Yep. Okay. This one is a. Uh, this creature right here is a uh, inbred. Mime is inbred. Yeah, you know, her, her mom and dad are siblings. But I did it on purpose because the two are compatible. They can safely have children, or they can have children without issues. So it's all safe. There's plenty of things to crack with that. Nice jaw of yours down in the ocean. Hmm. I might give mine a. She has the same in similar immunities to her dad, so can't really do that. I know it was tempting, but I can't do it. I like the fact that none of them have ram horns. But you have the ability to pass on ram horns. So that you. But you two are not compatible because you two are, are twins. You have the ability to pass them on too. But you don't. Surprisingly enough, these two are actually compatible, despite the fact that they're cousins. Yeah, they're actually cousins. Now, sir, are you conflicted about being on land or in the ocean? Because your maid over there is on the land.
Wrong thing. Mutations. Oh. Webbed paw and webbed hind legs. That is great. Now I just need the fishing tail. Because I need a perform fish tail. That's not the best thing in the world. It's not the worst. This isn't good. Barina. Friendly Barina now. Hmm. Lime. You guys, yep, nimble fingers. Too bad they already had it pretty prominent in their family tree. Oh, winged baby.
Oh, you peaceful bear. Let me see. You are a BC. You? CA. You two are not compatible in any way, shape, or form. First generation, everyone. Or second at this point. Anyway, I guess this would be the end of the episode. If you liked it, please slap the like button like you never slapped it before. Now with that out of the way, I'm Wolfie Alamu, fan artist extraordinaire, and I'll see you in the next video. Arr